What's up, everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to use PancakeSwap with the MetaMask wallet. I'll show you how to set up MetaMask wallet, then I'll show you how to add Binance Smart Chain to it, and then I'm going to show you how to actually swap or purchase tokens. So first thing we need to do, we need to go to this website and we need to add MetaMask extension. If you haven't already done this, then just go here and I will put all links in the description below. Press on download and then right here, since I'm using Chrome, install MetaMask for Chrome and then add to Chrome, add an extension. Okay, once it's added, we'll be presented with this screen right here. Then right here, press on get started. If you already have a wallet, you can import wallet or you can create new wallet. I'm just going to create new wallet. And then next right here. And then right here, we need to click to reveal our secret phrase or seed phrase. I'm going to reveal for the video because after I get done with this video, I will remove this MetaMask. So you need to copy this seed phrase and save it somewhere and don't ever share with anybody because if you will, then all your money will be gone. Most likely it's going to be a scammer and they will steal all your money. So keep in mind, if anybody is going to help you ever with anything, don't ever share your seed phrase or pass phrase. And then next, and now we have to re-enter the seed phrase. And then confirm and then all done. That's it. We have MetaMask wallet set up. We can do it in this window, everything else. Or if we press on this little icon, we'll see MetaMask right here. And then every single time when you're going to be opening up MetaMask, it's going to be popping up in this little window and you can do basically everything here. Since most likely you'll have this little window right here. I'm going to show you how to do everything in here. So now we need to add Binance Smart Chain. So to do that, we need to press on this little top right corner icon and then press on settings and then scroll down and then on networks and then press on add a network. Then in here, we need to add network name, new RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol, and then block explore. To get that information, you can go to this website right here and I will also leave a link in the description below. So we can just copy and paste. This is from Binance website and then press on save. That's it. Now I'm going to maximize this. You can see that Binance Smart Chain is already added in here. And if you press on it, you can see that default tokens is Binance token. Same thing right here. Binance and you can switch between chains, Ethereum main network or Smart Chain Binance network. So next thing we need to do to swap anything on PancakeSwap, it requires Binance token as a gas fee. So any kind of transfer you're going to make doesn't matter if you're going to use Binance or you're going to use BUSD or any other pair. You have to have Binance token, but you have to have not just a regular, but the Binance smart chain. So it's going to be BNB BEP20. And if you go to this website right here, this is from Binance website. This is every single exchange that support withdraw BEP20 token on a Binance smart chain. So basically how it's going to look, let me pull up another window. This is from Binance.com. When you're going to be withdrawing your Binance coin right here, you'll have to choose network. And in here, it's going to give you an option. Either choose Binance chain. This is their native network or Binance smart chain. You'll have to choose that and then copy and paste your Binance address in here and then press on withdraw and then you'll receive Binance Smart Chain token. Keep in mind, that's what you have to do to use PancakeSwap because you'll have to pay with Binance Smart Chain token for gas fees. And now once we have everything ready, let me bring up another window where I already have Binance token and Binance USD in my wallet to swap for another token. Okay, so right here in this wallet, I already have some BNB. This is Binance Smart Chain. And then I'm going to be using BUSD. This is a Binance USD stable coin. And I'm going to be buying Hero token. So, for example, if you found some kind of token on the CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap that you would like to purchase and they're 
on PancakeSwap. So if you, for example, go here, press on market, and you can see they're on PancakeSwap, and the pair is Hero to BUSD. So the next thing we need to do, we need to go back to MetaMask, we need to add that token. So to add a token, we need to press on import tokens. But before we do that, we can right here press on this little fox and it's going to add this token by default. Or if we copy this address, contract address, and then go back to MetaMask and then press on the import token. And then you can paste this address here and it's going to fill this out for you. And it's going to give you an option to add a token. But since I already have this token, it's just stating that this token already been added. So I'm going to close this. So now I'm ready to swap on Pancake. So either you go to pancakeswap.finance and press on trade now. And in here, we need to choose pair, which one are we going to swap? So from BUSD and then press right here, hero. And this is the one. So we're going to do that. Or if you go back to CoinGecko, you can scroll down. You can just press on Hero and BUSD. That's the pair I'm going to be using. You can use WBNB or USDT or Cake and Hero. Just choose pair the one that you're going to be using. And that will take you to this page. And right here, you just have to change this because we're going to be actually swapping from Binance USD to Hero. So press on that. Okay, so next thing we need to do, we need to press on Connect Wallet. We do that and then we choose MetaMask because that's the wallet we're going to be using. Then this window is going to appear, it's going to ask you what account to connect. I have multiple accounts, most likely you'll have one and then press next and then connect. Okay, it just connected to PancakeSwap. So right here, we need to choose. So it even shows how much Binance USD I have. My balance is $12. And let's say you can press on max or you can choose whatever, $10 or something. Let's say for this video tutorial, I'm going to use my entire balance and then I'm going to be getting 63 hero tokens. Then right here, we need to press on enable BUSD and you can see right here, minimum receive price impact and liquidity providers fee. And then also right here, it says give permission to access your BUSD and then we're going to confirm and the transaction is going to be 14 cents with a BNB. Like I told you earlier, we have to have some BNB to complete transaction because PancakeSwap is on Binance Smart Chain. So we'll press on confirm and it says right here, transaction receipt approved and we can press on view on Binance Smart Chain and this is our transaction. And then we can go back here and press on swap. And then once this window is going to appear, we need to press on confirm swap. Then this window is going to appear and we have to press on confirm again. And that's it. Transaction is submitted. And again, we can view on the Binance Smart Chain. And that's it. Transaction receipt swap 12.5 BUSD for 63.8 Hero. Close this and then I'll close this right here. And then if I go back to my MetaMask, I can see under activity, activity that just happened. And then if I press on assets, you can see that swap was successful. I just swapped all of my Binance USD to Hero tokens. And this is pretty much it. That's how easy it is to use PancakeSwap. And for example, if you're going to try to use Uniswap or any other swaps with MetaMask, this is going to be almost exactly the same. The interface is going to be different and probably some different messages. But other than that, that's how easy it is to use PancakeSwap. And if this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.